Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your weekly advice readings for the week beginning April 1st, 2019. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. You can also watch this if you're dealing with the Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising, or if this is your Venus sign, it may also apply. And as always, keep an open mind, they are general readings, so just take what resonates, disregard the rest, it just means it's not for you if it doesn't make any sort of sense to you, okay? So what is coming up for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs in the week starting April 1st, 2019? Eight of Wands, Three of Cups, Page of Wands, so far so good, The Lovers, King of Wands, Eight of Swords, Five of Swords, Four of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Swords. Now, what I'm getting real fast with some of these uh, cards, for some of you, this is about uh, someone being caught, they were trying to scam you or defraud you or trick you into something and they're getting caught. You're seeing the truth. You might be even um, like taking them, taking legal actions um, against them, okay? Uh, but justice is on your side basically if that's something you're dealing with. So, Eight of Wands, Three of Cups. So fast messages, mess messages from multiple sources, page of wands, they're very happy with. For others, this is you sending out messages. For some, I feel like you're sending out invitations, sending out maybe wedding invitations, the lovers, the king of wands in the center of your spread. Now this could be you or it could be another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. That could be their sun, their moon, or their rising. The eight of swords. So there's something that um, it's not been looked at for a while. So this person thought they were getting away with it and it may be a, a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius doing something shady. Um, but see how the fire is burning right behind this person? So it's like, it's being looked at, it's being illuminated. The blindfold is coming off. Five of Swords. So for some, this is this person not being happy they got caught. For others, this is your attitude and uh, of, um, no, I'm, I'm, no, I'm not going to listen to your side of it. This is wrong. I know it's wrong. You know it's wrong. Uh, I don't want to hear it. Okay. Four of Pentacles. It could be that someone was going after your money or going after your resources, whether that is financial, emotional, mental, intellectual property. but they do get find out, found out. And maybe even fire, okay. Um, and the Three of Pentacles. Sorry. So this is growth, development, increase in your money, reputation, stability. This is also collaboration, working well with others. You have two cards, the Three of Cups and the Three of Pentacles, talking about collaboration and uh, environments of like-minded people, okay? Um, where everyone's working towards the same goal. So you've got this person, maybe a Gemini with the lovers there as well, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You've got this person who just doesn't belong there. They've been kind of uh, being, they've been a wolf in uh, sheep's clothing for a while. And getting away with it you're coming in and you're, you're you're catching them out okay you're illuminating this what they've been doing it may have been about gossip it may have been about spreading spreading rumors it may have been about skimming you know um, other people's resources taking a little bit off the top definitely around money for some of you and you're catching them uh, they may even get fired okay cut out completely uh, or this is, if this is in a legal sense, the truth is revealed during this time, and this is compensation. You're getting what is owed to you and extra, okay? Um, other scenarios, again, for, for some of you very strongly, this is sending out wedding invitations. Congratulations. Because um, you have the lovers, the three of pentacles, eight of wands, three of cups. Um, 
for some you're telling people that you eloped <laughs> you're already married um for some this is good news about children you know uh for others of you definitely this is news about successful procedures uh regardless of the the purpose of those procedures, whether it's fertility related or um, anything else to do with your health, mobility, anything to do with your eyes, anything to do with laser. Um, there's a procedure that is, is successful. Absolutely. It's to bring you back your stability, to give you back your st stability, to give you back your independence for some of you, to give you back your, your ability to move freely. So that's really good. Could be a, a you know uh, to to recover after an injury, the procedure to help you recover or to fix something after an injury, sports injury or otherwise. Um, for others of you, this can be a time of dating, if that's what you want. You have more options than you see. Okay, so if you're interested in meeting someone, you could meet a really um, beautiful potential partner with the lovers but you have to get yourself out there you have to mingle you have to go out with your friends you have to let them introduce you to people uh, for others of you who are talking to someone online okay you may um, not see them during this time I feel like there's separation or there's distance there's physical distance or you physically can't see them either they don't really have that capability where they are they have very poor reception or no reception um, something along those lines so you can't physically see them uh, there's a delay in the messages reaching them or reaching you um, it's a bit of a challenging time but it is temporary is what I'm getting For those of you, you could be moving in with someone during this time or putting your resources together um, as well. There's definitely offers coming through, whether it's a job offer or any sort of opportunity where there's a commitment involved. There's a legal commitment, there's a signing of a contract. That's definitely coming up. The opportunity for you to invest or for someone to invest in you, your business, your idea, your um, development, okay? Um, for some of you, definitely C2 become three, so pregnancy, you may not be um, aware of this <laughs> with the um, Eight of Swords, so you may not be expecting this. But that's what's being revealed. So let's uh, pull a couple more cards here and clarify if there's anything else that you need to know, anything that needs clarifying for Sagittarius in the week of April 1st. So the Six of Wands, the Tower and the Strength card, absolutely. So something is being brought to the surface, something is being revealed, um, and this is the mini secret tarot deck. You're victorious in a situation, the truth is revealed and you're victorious. Um, this is also enforcing rules, something comes to light where rules need to be enforced and it's up to you to do so, or something comes to, to light, rules are being enforced and you're receiving uh, praise, it benefits you somehow. Definitely a victory energy here with the strength card, the six of wands. Um, and the tower, unexpected victory, unexpected um, triumph, unexpected um, offer, promotion, exposure, attention, in the positive sense. Very, very intense passion with the strength card in the tower and the lovers and the eight of wands. So it can be traveling to be with someone and maybe um, it's a long distance relationship or it may have been an online relationship and this is the time to come together and there's intense passion there even though it may be temporary with the six of wands until you figure something else out more and more a stable durable solution okay uh further this is moving absolutely things are happening very quickly for you 
there's commitments being made during this time. If this is about moving, uh, I feel that again things will be revealed about someone trying to get away with something, either asking for more money than it's something's worth, uh, for not mentioning things that have to be revealed, um, or you know, kind of uh, making just cosmetic um, repairs around the house when they're actually not repairing what they're supposed to be. However, that applies, okay? But you're coming out on top, okay? Whatever this is, you're coming out victorious in the situation. All right, so let me know how these cards are making sense to you. If they are, uh, what's going on for you? Remember to watch your sun, your moon, your rising. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope you have a wonderful week, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.